Vivi, can you unmute yourself, please? Sure. Take it away, my friend. All right. Hi, everybody. My name is Viviana. For those ones who don't know me, um, I'm one of the coaches. I have my privilege today to talk about one of element 17. So if you have your books, just bring it in right now. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, who I am. I'm a coach, a uh, health coach, and a fitness, yoga, and pranayama. But what brought me to this amazing program, and that's when I told my stories like eight months ago. So I didn't have to go to the lose weight program, but uh, when it was introduced to me, they told me about optimal health. And like, there is no way I can believe they're going to have a program that you're going to, you know, enhance the nutrition and optimal health. For me, optimal health, it was the big key. And I tried the program. I did lose the weight. I gained some muscle. In my surprise, we have the mindset. We work a lot with Dr. A's, our book, and it's helped us to achieve all the goals. So all together for me, it was like this program is amazing. And I become to become a coach. So not only because um, I love to help people uh, to achieve their goals, mental, physical, but they also to um, enhance all this community that we help each other every single day. And I like to be the own bus. So I love to be uh, my own bus. And this is an amazing program that just help everybody to get in a really new lifestyle. So that is what I become um, a health coach. And I love to be here with this amazing community. And when I move forward, guys, so let's go open our book to element 17. And it's how do you become a perpetual motion machine. So let's go find that one. We're gonna learn and in this um, element, how to be um, more physical activity. How we're gonna put our physical activity, how we are really complement all these elements in our life. Um, before we start guys, because we're gonna talk about um, moving and shaking. So I know some of you can a little bit sleeping. So I'm gonna ask everybody if you want, Stand up and check it out. And let's go do some a little bit funny thing here. Can everybody can hear the music? Can you hear it? No, can't hear it. You can hear it. No, maybe you gotta share your sound like we did on our test run. I did share it already. All right, it should be now. No? <gasps> How come? That was because everybody's saying mute? No? No, we should still be able to hear you hear yours. Maybe um share. Are you sharing? I'm sharing, yeah. Like you said, before you share, you have to turn the sound on first. If I you did. Don't. You did? No, but yeah. Yeah. Start all over and check it down. All right. So if it does not working, who cares? Let's go, everybody. Stand up. Shake <laughs> it up. Let's go. Shake the energy out. Move it around. Why not? Pop it up. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Without music, oh, with music, guys, we're going to do this. You guys are amazing. <laughs> All right, guys, have a seat. You should just feel better right now. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, let's go and move into element 17 today. So one of the things that we are going to target today is the reason I ask you to stand up today and check it out is because sitting is a disease. So if you agree with that, the sitting as a disease, there is so many people in our um, in our country that have been sitting all the time. So from 9.3 hours to 15 hours, people are sitting a day. So what we're gonna do to change it? What, what is that we can bring to change this? So Dr. Ace created this amazing, amazing, um, motion that we're going to talk today. 
So what we need to do about this? So we need to crawl before we walk. In other words, guys, we're crawling our way to optimal health. So what we're doing right now is to really create this new physical activity and exercise. So in this element, we're gonna talk about physical activity. So there's two different means. Physical activity is all the movements that you do during the day. Walking, standing, shaking, moving, all this is a physical activity. Exercise is when you give yourself like 60 minutes that you really going very meaningful to go to the gym to work out. So this is the two different things, physical activity and exercise. If you guys open in your book page three, uh, 334, that's where I'm gonna explain it better. You can see the habits of motion breaking down is in a circle. So the little part that exercise, the green part, this is the 60 minutes. But all the stuff around, all the movement, guys, this is our physical activity. So how much physical activity we can do? We have in this element called eat and meet. Eat is an exercise activity, thermogenesis. It's a fancy word, but thermogenesis is the mean creating heat. So you create heat. That when you eat is when you really plan those exercises. When we talk about need, the need is the non-exercises activity dermatologist. So need is what we're gonna talk about, this element that is very, very important. So if you remember when we were kids, we always say need. We always moving, we always playing outside. We always like um, going to groceries and we're walking all the time. So this is what we're gonna talk right now. So it's very important that Dr. A is in healthy motion, they become a need because if you never exercise before or you've had a, a health condition, it's very important to start from need to exercise. So you, you really have to go slow progressing every single day. And not only you're progressing every single day, is we burning a lot of calories during the day. So let's talk a little bit more about um, those uh, need. What a need means. Need to have like six successful. So six successful kids. One, guys, if you look at in page 341, that's the page that we are, the six need categories. The first is the stands. The second one is standing. The third one, strolling. The fourth one is stir samba and switch. So we're gonna go one to one, a stand. This thing is the means of is how do you, um, how do you sit? How is your posture? So if you look yourself right now, how is your posture right now? Are you rounding the spine? Are you like not having your feet on the floor? So one of the things that we do when we sit in, like when you're in church, on the car, make sure you roll your shoulders back. You're lengthening the spine, you keep the chin, the chin parallel to the floor. And make sure always, always, I'm a short person and I always have something in the floor like a pillow. So I know my knees are directly over my ankles. And in that position, when you're standing, you're really engaging your core. So you're really activating the core. You don't have to put your core all the way in, but you're activating your core. So a stance is all about the posture. How do you sit? Uh, one cue I can give you all the time about seat and stand, standing is, what is your favorite color? Just think about it. What is your favorite color? All the time that you see the favorite color, we're going to go to standing. So roll your shoulders back, lengthening the spine. You see the color that you like, and just remind yourself to have a really, really good posture. When you're standing, we have something in yoga we call mountain pose. The mountain pose is this beautiful because you are like lengthening the spine, engaging your back muscles, your front muscles, your glutes, your abdominals, your shoulders down, and you breathe very normal in and out. So even when you're standing, you're going to feel even more confidence. If you stand up, you feel a lot more confidence as you burn more calories than you're sitting. So having this in mind when you're standing, 
is um, you new sitting, have a color in your mind that's your favorite and then remind you to get a nice posture. This is one, the two. The third one is gonna be a strolling. A strolling is walking, going out for the walk. And when you're walking the same idea, how many of these steps do you do a day? So we recommend 10,000 steps. That means one mile has 2,000 steps. So using uh, a way to like counting your steps, they have so many uh, new technology that you can find it. But if you already know you're walking around the block and it's one mile, it's around already 2,000 steps. So that is very important when you walk with your dog, just make sure that you always that you're walking uh, part really far away from uh, groceries. Um, even if you're just sitting the whole time, take a time to stand up and walk around the office. Every 20 minutes, stand up, walk, and come back again. If, when you get up from the water, the same. Have the water, try to go as far as you can, even in the office or even at, at work. So this is very important. Uh, the last one is, is stairs. It stairs, um, it's one of my favorite ones, even though the, a lot of people always say, hurt my knees. If it does hurt your knees, I'm gonna give you a little cue here. When you placing into those stairs, make sure you place the whole foot first and then press with the heels. So when you place all your foot into the stairs and pressing with the heels, you're releasing the tension on your knees. Also, when you're going to a stairs, you're going up, you're having more oxygen in your body. So you're gonna creating and burning more calories. Also with the stairs, that's the favorite part for me, we work the neuromuscular training those muscles. And that's gonna help us a lot with the balance. As older we get, we start losing the balance. So make sure we have a stairs. Don't avoid it if you're good, just go for the stairs. Take a song stairs, ups and downs. Uh, and the other thing when going with the stands or walking, anything, uh, make sure you always have a really, really good shoes. So shoes should be always uh, changing for six months. If you're a person who work, I you know, like walking too much and it's yourself and say, my feet hurts, make sure that you have the right proper shoes. They're very comfy, comfy shoes so you can uh, go for the longer walks. The last one, guys, another one is Samba. Samba is dancing, groove. Have a playlist that is gonna pump your heart. So when you're at home, can you put some music and just dancing around or shaking around? Um, this is so important to create the movement all the time. And also when you're dancing, you're just hearing a smile on your face. You're just feeling better all the time. And you're pumping your heart as much as you can. The last one, guys, is gonna be switch. Switch is all those things that we do home. This is a one of the most important for me too, because now we become so addicted to other stuff doing for us. I'm gonna give you an example. We don't really use the broom anymore, right? We use the vacuum or we use a machine that just going vacuum for you. Take your broom and you just give them movement. All those little physical movements counts a lot. And even just doing the dishwashes at the house, make sure you do the you do the this you do do the uh, you wash the dishes and instead of like putting in the machine. All those little tiny movements is always gonna create a little movement during the day. That's what we call physical activity, not the exercise. And one of the last ones, guys, in page three forty nine, is if you see the perpetual motion machine is that eight hours to sleep and since you wake up to the bedtime look at how many times during the day you have the opportunity to start moving around so for every 20 minutes can you have five minutes of motions and it's very simple because you can really get your phone and put it a timer like every 20 minutes that you need to get up and walk around and with any of these movements that we call the super um, seats, uh, have fun with it. Just don't be stressed out. Have fun with that. And it just, your day goes a lot better. So that is what I have for today. So if you have any um, takeover from this element, please let me know if you 
or if you have any wins or anything or somebody wants to share. Well, if you... Yes, Claudia. You need to unmute yourself, maybe. There we go. Hi. Okay, I like the portion that I read. I just went on maintenance. Mm -hmm. And every time I started doing the three and three, I started gaining weight. And then I'd go back on the diet again. I'd lose the weight. Then I'd go on maintenance and I'd start gaining the weight. By reading this chapter, it says if you don't start at least doing the NEAT plan, some kind of physical activity, you will gain, you could gain up to five pounds when you start maintenance. And I thought it was just me. It was like I thought I was eating wrong, but I went on maintenance, but I did not get off my couch. I was a total couch potato. I am a total couch potato. And this has, um, it made me very much aware of the fact that I do have to get off the couch. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not much of a walker. I'll do a treadmill, but I don't like walking. And I like the fact that it now gives me alternatives, like doing the stairs. Mm -hmm. I don't mind going up and down my stairs. I, I can do that. I love the fact that it says I can dance you know, doing the samba. So yeah. that's nothing. I can turn on my radio, throw in a CD, and I might have to make myself sit down, you know? <laughs> and uh, so, no, I'm glad I got this chapter because now I will go back to my maintenance plan and do it properly with the physical activity. And I don't think I'll gain that weight while I'm just starting the maintenance plan. So I'm glad we got to this chapter. Yeah, Claudia, that's beautiful. One of the things you can do uh, with your music, have your own playlist, the music that you really love the most, and you're gonna be moving around. And if you like, you know, even if you're watching TV or something, in those commercials, stand up and dance. Right. Yeah. And I love to dance. So I'm glad that's on the list. Perfect. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Sylvia? Oh, is Sylvia there? Sylvia, I can't hear you. Can you there hear me go. now, Vivi? Perfect. Hey, everybody. Man, Vivi, you did such an amazing job. That was excellent. And looking at you, it looks like, oh, yeah, she knows what she's talking about when it comes to fitness. You, you could be like, the poster child, let's do some front covers of some things. I just wanted to come on and give you the shout out, honestly, Vivi, because this is really an important element. Sometimes when we start off, we're thinking, yeah, you know, this means that I don't have to do anything at all because that is something that we discussed in the beginning. And that's true. We don't have to go out and get a gym membership, but you really highlighted the point of um, the value of motion as opposed to exercise and that all of us have very practical ways that we can do it, even at home, or like you mentioned, um, getting up and moving. So you really highlighted that. I just wanted to say thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sylvia. Um, Carol. I'm with Sylvia. I think you killed it. So I don't think there's anything much I can say. But um, like everyone's brought out, it's very important. I told you I hate exercise. This is not my thing. But um, it's, as mentioned in our life book, it's a well-known medical fact that sedentary lifestyle causes cardiovascular disease. And we definitely, we're trying to get healthy. We're trying to get to an optimal health. Mm -hmm. So definitely need to get moving. I know I do. Um, and little things like I just relooked, I have notes from previous before that I circled and highlighted, but just little teeny things like using a hand basket in a store. We're so used to being lazy. I'm more lazy. I actually order my stuff. It's delivered and I open the door and bring it in the house. So yeah. I had to figure out something else, but going to the store, just instead of using a cart, using a hand basket actually will help as well. So just a little things thinking outside of the box of ways we can be um, stay busy and more active. 
but brilliant job. I knew you'd kill it. So I'm glad, so glad so many of you were able to sign on. Thank you, Carol. Yeah, the other thing is to just make sure you park far away. Try, because everybody wants to park really close to the grocery store. Like, can we just, oh, going to church, like everybody's running to get the first spot. Like, just, just, just park a little bit far away, you know? We healthy, we strong, we just need to, it's a new style of life, guys. That's what we're doing right now, right? We go to optimal, we're gonna leave. So you can do all this, what we talked today, even when we're 90 years old. So we're gonna be a hundred years old and we can still do that, all right? Um, Anita. Hello. Hi, um, I just wanted to, say that I was on the same line today. I got out and I did my walk around the block. Uh, I've been a couch potato as well and I was gaining weight and I was like, oh my God, I gotta get it together. So I just wanted to say, I got up and did my movie. Didn't know that you were gonna talk about it tonight. So I just wanted to let you know that I was lined up with what you're talking about tonight. Oh, Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Great job, Anita, yes. <laughs> Just keep moving and shaking. Why not? Yeah. Uh, Jamie. You did a fabulous job and I love that you got us all up and moving. Thank you so much because some of us definitely need that push to get going. <laughs> uh, what I really liked was where um, on page 349, where it mm -hmm. says that by moving forward, we could be adding um, by that second month, we could be actually burning 200 calories per day just by enhancing, not by doing a whole bunch of other things, enhancing our everyday activities. So I don't know about you guys, but our fuelings are 100 calories. So to me, that acts like a couple extra fuelings I could have just because I'm burning those 200 calories here. <laughs> so win-win for all. But thank you. Oh. You did an awesome job. Thank you, Jamie. That's great. Stanley, my man, who's always on the bike. There you go. I'm not on a bike today, but I'm in the kitchen. I'm doing something else I like to do is I'm, I'm filleting up some cauliflower rice. Anyway, listen, um, I am so relieved, right? You know, you read this. So what this is telling me is I don't have to go break my back in the gym for like two hours just to maintain the weight I lost. It's just simple things that we can apply to our day-to-day -day routine and that'll help us stay where where we need to be at at that healthy way so it's su such an amazing guidance that we get i just want to do one more thing too i want to welcome my mother betty jefferson so everybody get show my mother some love we got moms in here and i'm happy that she's joining yes. the, the program with us um she won't say this i know she's not going to raise her hand but i'm gonna say it she started the program last week on uh friday i'm sorry monday and she lost 11 pounds Y'all have a good evening. Yeah. Good job. Miss Betty. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Thank you, Stanley. That's wonderful. Maybe your mom is going to jump in the bike with you. We we'll see. Yeah. Let's see who else? Is there missing anybody? I think we're good. I'm going to pass it to James. Yeah. Oh, actually, I had my hand up. I wanted to share some. I put it in the chat, but um, I, I wish I would have had this element or this note from, from the doctor when I had a nine to five office job, because Dr. A says that we need to get up and move every 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So we have a note from the doctor, guys, that if you have a desk job, your doctor, Dr. A said that you need to get up and move every 20 minutes doctor's orders so i just wanted to share that yeah yeah and that's very easy guys to do it it's like the same when you put a timer when the feelings you have to eat you just put the time in your clock that it's time to get up that it's time to move the whatever physical uh activity you're doing the only thing i'm gonna leave right now is guys whatever physical activity you're doing just have fun with it have fun with it that is gonna make a lot more placing and maybe even go more than 10 to five minutes. So have fun with that. Why not? Life is short. Let's go all have fun. Yeah. Ina. 
Yes, I love to dance. When this um, element about getting up and dance, I do that. I love to dance. I dance when the commercial come on. I walk around when the commercial come on. I go do watching when the commercial go on, come on. I do a lot of cook when the commercial come on. So I love my commercials. Perfect. Great job, everybody. Yes. All right. I think that's it for me. We are running time, James. You can take from here. Right. Thank you, all everybody. Right. Love it. Love it. Thank you guys all for being on. So before we jump off, if you guys notice in your life book, at the, at the end of every element, it asks you guys, it asks a series of questions. I know we kind of discussed it and talked about it, but um, something we want to take away from this element. Now that we have went over element 17 together as a group, ask yourself, how do you become a, petro, a perpetual motion machine? Write down your thoughts guided by, and by the following question. So what does this element what does this element mean to you right now? So wherever you're at in your personal health journey, what does this element mean to you? What does this element give you the opportunity to reflect on? And what actions are you going to take as a result of this element? So these are some questions that we want to uh, open up your life book and that's on 351 and write those things down and, um, and really meditate on those things so that, um, um, you can we can all get better in in our health so you guys thank you all for being we actually have two minutes so I, I we i see another hand that went up so will we have two minutes maybe leroy we'll hear from you and then we'll um we'll, we'll you can take us home hello everyone how y'all doing tonight um i'm new to the program so basically real quick i just wanted to know if someone could speak on what the program has done for them how they lost weight or you know just their day-to-day -day eatings and how things going. Give me some inspiration. I love it. We got two minutes. Does anybody want to share? I will say this. Um, next week, it's the first, Leroy, it's the first Tuesday of the month. So what we do is the whole, this whole time, instead of going into the life book, we do just that, where everybody comes on and we're just going to share stories and transformations. Mm -hmm. But maybe in a minute or two, if somebody wants to jump on and go ahead, Stanley. All right, let, let's get Willie. Willie, if you just want to share with Leroy, maybe a little bit of a win or success you got for, for Leroy. Okay, he, he heard my success and he jumped on board immediately. So Leroy is my newest. And uh, I, I told him in, in 30 days, I lost 16 pounds. And uh, I'm able to tie my shoes with my foot flat on the floor now. And just little things that I saw that I was able to do. I don't have to put my foot up on a chair anymore. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love the program. I love eating the bars. And Leroy is gonna, he gonna, he's, he's gonna go this journey with me. I love it. Very, very nice. Willie, thanks for, thanks for sharing that. So again, um, next week is the first Tuesday of the month. So you guys remember the first Tuesday of the month, we switch it up. We put our life book away for, 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 um, for a week and we're gonna do just that. We're gonna invite everybody on to just share. We wanna hear your wins. We wanna hear your victories. We wanna hear the challenges. We wanna hear what are you loving most so far about the program. We just wanna hear, we wanna celebrate you. So next week we'll do that. And we look forward to seeing you guys all next week as we celebrate the wins um, and the victory. So thank you guys all for being on. Uh, Vivi, thank you for getting us up and, and moving and getting getting some movement in. And everybody have a great night. We'll see you all next week. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs>